With the arrival of the MSC World Europa, the first of three commercial hotels, all a central part of our fan experience and tournament legacy planning, we mark one of the final steps on a 12-year journey to Qatar 2022. 12 years ago, our bid presentation concluded with Our Highness Sheikh Hamosa powerfully urging those assembled that the time is now. The time is now to bring the World Cup to the Middle East. And Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the time is upon us. Over a million people will visit, and many of them for the very first time. Several billion people around the world will tune in on television. Visitors will experience a country and a region proud of its heritage, proud of its culture, warm and welcoming to our guests, and intensely passionate in our love for football. And the single greatest legacy of this World Cup will be realized through people-to-people -people diplomacy. It will be realized through the bonds created between peoples of vastly different backgrounds, experiencing our culture and other cultures, and often for the very first time, and realizing that what unites us is more important and far more valuable than what divides us. Celebrating our differences and sharing in our common humanity. Now the World Cup weaves humanity together in an unprecedented manner and in an unmatched scale. Now the tournament's cruise ship hotels will play host to tens of thousands of fans over the 29 days and will have an essential, critical role in our shared success. World Europa will deliver. As we can all see, she's an extraordinary ship. An MSC has an extraordinary partner on our journey. And a deep, heartfelt thank you to Pier Francesco, to MSC, and to all who have contributed to this momentous milestone. And I look forward for all of us together to welcoming the world to Qatar in the coming weeks and to delivering a historic first FIFA World Cup in the Arab world and in the Middle East. Thank you all very much.